Okay, so this is a video on how to change the LuLaRoe graphics to have uh, your information on them. So the one editing uh, website that I use is photor.com. Uh, you will then click on collage. It might take a few seconds for this to start up. All right, as soon as it starts up, the first thing that I do is clear all of these images so that it doesn't slow it down. It's not going to change anything. They'll pop back up when you start this website over again. So next thing is import photos. So I will go to where I have the images saved. And just pick one okay now that I have it over here I'm going to change the collage to have two windows because they don't have an option to have one window so I can edit this to have one I just need to drag this over to the side and now I can move my Lula cache onto the image onto the space provided. Um, since most of the border is now cut off, um, I can use this toggle down and select a larger size. It will not have the whole border. I didn't make it specifically for this. So um, the top one is the one that shows the most color on the outside. Right now that we're done with that, we are going to add text. So you click the T over on the left side, and now you can type in whatever it is that you would like. So I'm going to put in mine. And I messed that up. Okay, so I have my website typed in here. You can have it all caps, lowercase, however you want to do it. I bring it all the way over to each of the sides so that I know that this is centered as much as I can. Then I highlight it. Hopefully you know how to highlight. All right, over here on this toolbar, you can change the color. Since this doesn't have the approved fonts, and I have absolutely no idea at this point how to make it so that it does, uh, white is always an option. So I change mine to white, and then I can change the font. If you have downloaded the fonts, um, either by searching on Google or by finding it in my shareable drive, um, they should be in here. So you click on the fonts up here, and then you want to click local, scroll down, uh, Steelfish, uh, from my understanding, is not actually the Steelfish font. So I'm going to go with this one. I don't really know how to say it, so I'm just going to click on it. That changed the font there. And since it's not centered yet, I can click up here where it's centered. Also, you can change the size here. I'm pretty good with the size that it was. All right, so click on the A again, and then that'll go away. And I can move this as long as it has that, the up, down, side to side arrows. I can move it up and down or wherever I want to move it. So I'm going to move it down here to the space that I provided you with. And the easiest thing that I can say to do is to copy this. So I press Control C, then Control V, and now it's copied. And I can change the text to have the winner's name. So let's say the winner is Mary. I'm going to change the size of this so it's not so gigantic. And now I can have this, move this over here. And then I can copy that 
So control C, control V. If you're on an Apple computer, you can use command C, command V. Uh, so now I moved that over to redeemable with. I can put my name. And it looks like it is complete. So I go up here to this square floppy disk looking thing. Save it. You don't necessarily need to put anything in here because when you click on Save to My Computer or Save to Dropbox, you can edit it there. So I just save to my computer. Go to, oops, my computer's dying. Go to Desktop and then type in Trial 1 or whatever you want to do. Save. Another thing's going to pop up every time. Click the X. And then I can go back here, and I have my final product. Thank you for listening.